exactly here. It is the controversial best of super show, and I'm here with my two co-hosts, the lovely Big Leo Energy, Big Milf, controversial Christine. <laughs> Hold on, is Christine talking? Oh shit, there we go. And the voice for slowly maturing, need more hoes, infamous best. And I'm your truly the smoothest, coolest podcaster, the swoops, and we are the controversial best super show. How y'all feeling this week? You hear me? Yeah, we hear you. We hear you now. Guys, anybody who's watching our show, I'm so sorry, y'all, for looking raggedy the last 18 times, but I got my shit together. I had to take care of real shit. Life be like crazy, bro. Our last episode, 100 views, and none of us promoted it. Like, ran, like, I look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, listen, man, we got to get there's some good clips on there, man. That was a good episode. When I, when I finished, I was like, damn, I need to call them. And tell him that was. I'd be wanting to buy hate watching myself, bro. That's the only thing, bro. That's, I, that's you know. the only way to get better. We gotta watch ourselves, man. I don't like doing it either, but because I, I was there, but when you watch it on the playback, you catch some things that you didn't catch before. Um, what's new? Like, 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 I like watching myself. I'd be like, damn, bro, what are you talking about? Or I don't know, bro. Just especially the first day, cause I be trying to do it the first day, and I and then after like four days, you be like, all right, just going to next week. I'm dead. Um, how are y'all feeling? No, what's going on? I wanted I wanted to ask best because I know we're on social media right now in Rochester is so much beef with people going to Sobo and shit. And I just want to know like if your girl with the Sobo, she not loyal. <laughs> I, no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. You know, it's, it's like you know how Rochester goes all at the same time. Is it like cheaper? Do they have like a plan? Uh, I I don't know if it's cheaper. Um, what do you, I, what I just mean? I just think people are more comfortable partying with people they're familiar with. Familiar. What do you with. What do you mean by that? Is it cheaper for the person putting the event together, or is it cheaper for the people that's traveling? Is it cheaper for the people that's traveling? Because I see like absolutely. it's absolutely. one time. Absolutely, because you got to think about it like this, right? So you got the cheap ones that get the double the double the double bedroom hotel, and it'd be like seven of them in a the room. So of course it's gonna be cheap. Then you have the ones that's not so cheap, but and they may get an Airbnb, but if you got more people chipping in on the Airbnb and it's all you got to really worry about is your flight is cheaper and you're probably all playing on a rental car unless you're getting a rental car for yourself. So, mm-hmm. yeah. And some people just be Ubering it, so. Right. I agree. That part. Yeah. So, it just depends on who you're traveling with. Cause, but I will say, some people don't know how to travel and they travel very cheaply. And some people, they don't travel at all, so this is the only time they can travel all year. So shout out to everybody that's going and having a good time, and shout out for the person putting on that event because they look like they're having fun. So that's always a good thing. Nah, as long as you having fun, but don't you know people gonna dress and talk about people gonna hate how uh-huh, people dress, you know, because it's a big thing. Everybody's paying attention to the sober, so there's been a lot of hating going on from the hometown. People been mad at people how they dressing. Listen, I don't care how yeah. you dress. If you had the money to get to Tampa, you doing all right, my nigga. Doing all right for yourself. Like everybody, a lot. There's a lot of yeah, niggas that. Like I just seen this. People had the money to get to Tampa, but I seen a couple saying there's like niggas went from Sobo to Hobo because niggas don't got the money to come back. They homeless out there. Oh, this book. Yo, so y'all, 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 y'all need to watch the Freaknik documentary. I'm gonna let you go in a second. One second. And the Freak not Freaknik documentary. They were saying niggas was renting out U holes and sleeping in the U hole to make sure that they can get home. So yeah, I seen that. Like, yeah. Just do something. Whatever you do when you go travel, make sure that you have the means to get back home. They said, they said, they said females are just selling pussy to get them home. Oh, no, that happened all the time. At, 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 at the, during the Super Bowl, girls was out here stripping to get back home. You feel know I me? Mean? Like, all kinds of stuff. I ain't mad at them. Listen, if she got some coochie so she can get her Greyhound ticket, A-OK. Don't hate on her. Actually, she could sell some coochie and she might could get a spirit ticket. It won't get you to Rochester, but it could get you to New York City. You could take the China bus. You'll be all right. Oh my gosh. That's some advice. That's free game. Free That's game. free game. Yo, spirit dumb cheat. And listen, <laughs> anything under three hours, I'm a person. I, I have reward points with some, with some airlines that I I think I got American Airlines and I got um United, right? It's, it's the other one, United. Got those two, right? No, no, Delta, Delta, American Airlines, United, depending on which one I use those three the most. But if I could get a spirit flight, if I'm going somewhere under three hours, I'm taking it all day, every day. <laughs> and it's non-stop too all day every day. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, hopefully everybody will get back to the You don't be on the hope, but they're calling. They've been calling people out all day about not it, not having the money to come back to Rochester. That's, that's miserable. But you could you didn't have the money to go. So why are you talking shit? For me? Not you. Oh. <laughs> best. I know you would go. You will find. You will find a way. Now you know crazy. I was about to go too, but like somebody was about to pay me to um to come vlog them, but he wanted to drive for nineteen hours, and I'm like, oh, oh. drive. Yeah, if I'm driving for 19 hours to Florida, it's my old life, not now. If I'm driving, it's yeah, you know, it ain't, it ain't the old vlog, nobody. I'm just saying, I ain't driving 19 hours to vlog shit. That's a long drive. You know why they go drive? You know, the motherfuckers like to be secured, and you don't know how that should be, bro. It's Florida. All you gotta do this is eat, listen, free game out here, right? In Utah, you can get a permit and not you can get a non-resident gun license. If you have a non-resident gun license in Utah, you can use it to buy a gun in Florida. I'm just trying to tell y'all something real quick. I never knew that. Yep, Utah does it, and it works in 33 states. Damn. You know, niggas don't even think about it. Not just you know, you know, people be. I don't know. We ain't gonna speak on what other people got going on. <laughs> Listen, I'm just trying to say. Look, I know people got their illegal hammers, whatever. <laughs> Make sure you got a legal one and driving 19 hours with a hammer in the car going through the Bible belt is fucking insane. Because mm -hmm. when them people pull you over, because y'all niggas like to smoke in the car, driving through South Carolina, West Virginia, and that fuck shit, you going to jail, buddy. Niggas don't and you got New York plates. Driving from New York to or to uh Tampa is in with New York plates all through the Bible belt is crazy, bro. You bucking out, and I've done it. And rental cars in my own car. I was bugging out. It's not. Mm, 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 don't do it. Do not. They, they looking for a reason to pull you over. Don't right. stop at a stop sign. And if it is one, mm. roll, roll, roll through a stop sign and watch what happened to you, nigga. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna lie. I was about to go. I thought it was fourteen hours at first, but when I looked up, it said nineteen. I literally canceled like the night before. I'm like, yeah, I ain't going. 14 hours is still crazy. How much are they paying? It's long. Yeah, first of all, it's not how much are you? You gotta be paying me a band a better. No, no, no. I was gonna pay for my stay, all that. So I was I still that don't count for my work, nigga. I still need a well, band. That's no, three I days I ain't. For that too. I'm just saying, like, I would that's, that's three days I ain't home, nigga. <laughs> that's three days I ain't home, nigga. Yo. Can y'all please tell me what the hell is going on with Chris Brown and Quavo? How you got Chris Brown in some beef? Chris Brown, what? Oh, listen, remember when Drake said, "Light skin, uh, I'm light skin, but still a, still a dark nigga." That's yeah. Chris Brown. Qu Quavo, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, bro. I, and I like and I like Migos. You feel me? I think Quavo cool. I don't got no problem with you. Leave. Chris Brown alone. That nigga is not human, bro. That nigga, that nigga alien, bro. There's nothing that he can't do. Like, best name something that Chris Brown can't do right now. I, I can't name nothing, but that nigga, that nigga do poetry. That nigga could dance. That nigga, <laughs> dance. that nigga could play basketball. I never seen a nigga play soccer, but I bet you he pick up a soccer ball. His destiny that's gonna be amazing. Got, if you could dance, that means you got footwork. You probably he probably be he will be nice night, but he probably be all right. He do play basketball, don't he? No, I watch. He don't play basketball. He he nice. Oh no! Listen, listen. It ain't just that though. I watched the nigga dance on a mural that went like he stepped in paint and danced and created a mural from dancing with his feet, nigga. Painting. I'm like, nah, nigga. This nigga is not. He is not a regular human being. There is Chris Brown is one of the people in the world that is is a meat, gifted, and I know the nigga can fight. Just leave him alone. Fall. Leave him alone. I said he don't got too many flaws out here. Like, yeah, bro. <laughs> you want them niggas to come around your bitch? And you like, Yo, listen, this is this is how you know Chris Brown is untouchable. That nigga done dyed his hair every color, and nobody says shit. That like, nigga no, dyed his hair any color he want. Nobody gonna say nothing. They don't call him a fleas. They, they try to say he do a little bit of coke. So, <laughs> all right. but nigga, they, niggas don't talk sideways about Breezy too much, man. They and the nigga, no, they he never put out a bad album. That's one thing I can say. He's never put out a bad album. What what y'all think that it and is? He, and, and he yeah. bounced back, and we're not condoning it. And he bounced back from the next violent charges every time. No, he no, hold on, we're not gonna oh, go there. Whoa, whoa. We're not gonna, we're not gonna go there. We're not gonna go there because he technically he didn't because Chris Brown is very much still blackballed. Yes, nigga. Rough look, the NBA took him out of the fucking shit, bro. Like, we're not gonna like, yeah, 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 yeah. about that. Come on now. Damn, they did. Yeah, he's supposed to play in a celebrity game, they took him out. Oh shit. After they sent them an official invite.
But what I will say though, I okay, I, I want to be politically correct, but being blackballed in the media today. I'd rather be a Chris Brown that because everybody else be real life blackball like they don't get the same respect and props still to this day. Like the baby, uh, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, but you got to think about it. Chris Brown been doing this for so long, bro. When it, it was like, like Chris Brown came out with 05, right? It was, hard, it was you didn't have that many celebrities, so people still know. No, 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 no. Watch, let's let's not do that. Yes, right. we did. We had that many celebrities in 05. Yes, yes, we did. Like the problem today is that Instagram got niggas that's not celebrities. Thinking that they're celebrities, and, no. And you could say they probably figure because they're able to influence some. No, it, but influence is not a celebrity. Chris Brown, when he goes somewhere, Chris Brown grew up in an era of real celebrities where there was anonymity. Like we didn't know shit. That's why Entertainment Tonight was so big because you were trying to get information on these people because they, they weren't accessible. Today we actually have less celebrities than we did back then. We just have more people that are viral, but they're not celebrities. Okay, you can say that. Well. Now with the baby and stuff like that, and um, I wouldn't say like how can I just, how can I say what I'm trying to say. More people know who Chris Brown is, so if you want to blackball him, it's even hard, way harder because you still got a great amount of people knowing him. The baby who's been active for like the last four or five years, I want to say, he, he has a great amount of following, but like when they see that situation happen, that cuts a good twenty percent off. You feel right. what I'm saying? So that blackball is felt. I ain't gonna lie, there's not one country, I, I believe there's not one country you could go to, they don't know who Chris Brown is. They know Chris Brown, Rihanna, Jay-Z, Beyonce, and Michael Jackson. That's probably, the, like, they might not understand what they're saying, but you ask them who they want to be like, they're going to say Michael Jackson, uh, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Chris Brown, Rihanna, who else could you say? I could even say Drake a little bit, but I don't believe like Drake at the, I don't think Drake at the, the what? I don't think Drake got the Chris Brown impact. I'm talking about worldwidely. Like, yes, he world. does. Drake, first of all, bro, Drake okay. is already an international act. He's not from America. No, I'm not taking it. Away from him, I'm not taking But bro. I'm saying people might not know Chris Brown and Drake is like people that like are 70 bro. years old. I'm telling you right Drake, now, bro. People, they know Drake. Don't they bro, know Drake? I'm about my grandpa and them probably know Chris they, Brown. They, they know, they know, they know. If they don't know Drake, they know his music. They know uh, Drake. I, yeah, but we talk about public. I'm talking about face card. Bro, they know me. Drake best. You know Drake, bro. They know, they know Drake. My mom Drake. can't tell you who Drake is, bro. Huh? My mom can't tell you who Drake is, but she can tell you. You, you say you name one person. They know, Drake. bro. Drake has the power to have niggas not coming to Canada. No, I, 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 man, I, I let's, let's, let's not act like this nigga is not who he is now, bro. I'm not, I'm not, I didn't say, I'm not taking it away from him. I'm just but saying. But you say, you say, he, out, he, no, he's I'm already an international out. act, so he's already. No, no, no he is, I just don't think he's as, as international I, as Brown. And I'm telling you right now, go look at, the, go look at the sales. The nigga done, the nigga had a number one album in Finland. The nigga done had a number one album in India. Nigga, Drake popping, bro. Like, I'm, he I'm not, me, I just don't and think. He, and he, he, he is very. In order to have a number one album in other countries, you have to have they have they gotta be able to identify who the fuck you are. That's a fact. No, and I'm not taking that away from him. He's an international star. I just said I don't I think Chris Brown is way, way more international than Drake. Oh, no, he's not. I think Chris Brown is more. Oh, no, go look at the look at the ticket sales of the shows that Drake do. And then look at the ticket sales of the shows that Chris Brown do. It's not this on an international level. Make the same, bro. Drake is selling out shows in Japan. Show me a show with Chris Brown so, so done in Japan. I'm pretty sure he could. Could uh, and did is two different things. Has he ever been in Japan yet? I don't know. He might have. Chris Brown? You don't think Chris Brown got a... I know Chris Brown is, is, is a bit is a star. Mm -hmm. But I'm, it's levels, bro. Chris Brown, we I, I got mad respect and love for Chris. I think Chris is that nigga. Excuse me. Drake is, is trying to compete. The nigga called himself hip-hop Michael Jackson for a reason, bro. Right. No, let me ask y'all this, though. So for me personally, I feel like Offset, I mean, yeah, Offset has a name on his own minus the Migos. Now for Quavo, especially being in beef, I, do y'all really feel like he's standalone just on his name without the... If you, if you ask most people, they're going to say Quavo was like, yeah, people going to say take off, but Quavo was really the face of the Migos for, for like, he was like the... Even though it's not one bigger than the other, but Quavo had a little bit of the edge over the other ones because he was a little bit more interactive and friendly with going to take off of Austin. Austin spent a lot of time in jail. But I think he could hold his own. He's been holding his own. 
All such probably probably the most famous Migo. Mm, I don't think one's bigger than the other for too much. No, I think so. I think all such bigger. But I think he did Cardi B, but that's not, that's not, and not but it ain't just all set wanted to be a solo artist to begin with. But so then first want to do the solo shit, right? Like yeah. Know. Nah, yeah. nah, I like Quavo. we got like Quavo, like Bobby Brown, bro. New edition, new edition was new edition. Like everybody knew who these niggas was. Ralph was Ralph. Ralph was like Quavo was the star of Migos, but when they start to branch away, like you still identify Quavo with Migos. Offset is not just identified as part of Migos. He's all he's identified as himself at this point in time. All right. Do y'all know where this beat started from though? Because I don't. Uh, know. some girl that they were dating. I don't know. If, I can't remember who the girl. Oh, over. I guess Chris Brown was going out with Coochie, and uh, all set was going. I said, all set, um, my apologies. And um, Quavo was going out with Sweetie. Sweetie broke up. I, I whatever happened between Quavo and Sweetie, Murray, he took the card back, whatever the case to be. Offset, offset, I keep saying awesome. My bad, Quavo, Quavo. 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 Put your camera, we can't see your face, bro. It's like man, light right there, bro. I'm trying, I'm just doing it. You you know what's crazy too? It's just like I feel like damn. Let me let me figure out how to put it in words. But best you can finish your point if you want. Now I was saying, I was saying Quavo was going out with um and, uh, let, me break, let me slow down because it's me. Quavo and Sweetie were going out. You remember he took the car back and everything like that. And mm-hmm. Chris, we're just going out. And Chris Brown was going out. So oh. Somehow Chris Brown got into a situation when Karuchi they break up. Quavo put uh dates Karuchi now, goes out to her, blah blah. I guess he bangs her, and then Chris Brown alleged in the song that he banged Sweetie. So I guess Chris Brown's still tender behind Quavo messing with hey, nigga, nigga, that nigga is in love with her, bro. Hey, nigga, happy nigga tender. Hey. Breezy, y'all. I, I'm been tender too. I get it, but you can't do that, bro. <laughs> That's your yeah. with tender too. Yeah, but I, my, my problem with Chris Brown doing that, bro, is you fuck niggas bitches, bro, in the industry, bro. So like y'all all not that, that's not necessarily that's true. That's accurate. No. How bro, who, who, who. bro do you know females out, bro? Sleeping no, up again, but you put you putting stuff out there. You got you got proof that they have all right. Sleeping up power is a perfect example, bro. They all she didn't expose Chris Brown, Trey Song, uh Tory Lanes, she keep all you niggas be going through her, bro. And then and she's just the famous one. A lot of other girls, Rihanna done dated. Now nah, I'm trying to, I'm not trying to dog them, bro. But this is just accurate. Rihanna done dated, uh, um, Chris Brown, ASAP, Drake, all that. Oh, uh, but you, you talking about over the span of like 15 years? It's like what's happening back no, to back to back. You know what I'm, saying? Put, I'm just saying, don't no, put Riri in the same category as the no, no, that, I'm that, that it's different. Sweeter than dated, um, Quavo. She allegedly slept with Chris Brown, according to him. YG is dating her right now. She dated some. She dated some other celebrities. Oh, uh, Roddy Rich dated her. Ruby Rose dated a tra- uh, Travis Scott, Playboy Cardi, Lil T J D G. Like everybody's kind of like you. Nope. Can- then do you blame the girl or you blame the niggas? I don't blame nobody. I ain't gonna lie. This no, is I blame this, the niggas. This, this, y'all, this, y'all, niggas y'all niggas is weird. No, this is like this is like being in high school, bro. Everybody competing for everybody's going for the same girl. Like you feel me? And like it's like an ego check right now. If a nigga back a girl, everybody wants her, bro. Right, it's not like Megan Thee Stallion, bro. We like Megan Thee Stallion. Was bro, that is man. Listen, as a grown, these niggas is grown men. We talk about. We talk about niggas that's thirty and up, right? For the most part. Yeah. Y'all nigga, there is billions of women on this earth. Y'all don't all have to bang the same chick. Y'all don't. No, that's weird. Yeah, because even even with um. The whole situation with uh future and Drake, it's like the fact that it's over a women, it makes me feel like these rich niggas aren't that different from poor niggas. They not, they not, they, they be not. pillow talking too. They be pillow talking too. They be pillow talking, they be pillow talking, bro. You ain't you ain't hear what the good Chris Brown said? Chris Brown said sweet told him all the secrets at nighttime, bro. He ain't even he ain't gonna expose that. Damn. Bro, look, look I, and I'm not even going to use this example. Look at Asian Doll. Look how Asian Doll moves around the industry. It, these girls be beefing over niggas, bro. Uh, a- Asian Doll is low tier. So she no, but I'm to- using it as an example. Yeah. They, they are more public with it. The girls that are high tier, they might do what they do, but they low. Like, nobody knew Sweetie was doing all this. Nobody knew Ruby. I mean, nobody, like, you know what I'm getting Nobody knew what Megan Stanley was doing until it got, came out in the court case. 
We thought we did with music friends, bro. But they, niggas, like, y'all talking about, bro. Nigga, ain't no, the way that he was taking pictures and shit, you know me from music friends, bro. Uh, that but, nigga but, ain't no one from a can of paint. And then he got mad close for it. He fucking. Uh, so like, you just said, you said pictures, right? I told you Sexy Red and Drake be been gone all the time. And they pictures look crazy, but you don't want to believe it. You said that's not Drake type. She's so not. Look at the girl. Look at the girl. Look at the girls that Drake date. You feel me? And bro. Drake also, and also Drake don't even really date. The nigga just be fucking mad. Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, he just be, bro. They all he needs to be going through the same thing. But you see girls be exposing them, bro. Like you see, you see what, she ready to expose Drake yet? Yeah, she don't need to. She's winning. You feel me? Like he buy her a private. He gave. He gave. He let her ride a private gym. She like that. All he needs to be turning behind the same female. Like, bro, Tiger dated Kylie Jenner. Who else dated Kylie Jenner in the industry? Lil Twist. Um, um. Travis Scott, Travis Scott did. Travis Scott, like these, all these niggas be want to say. Her and Travis got a baby together, nigga. Oh, yeah, Travis, so. and, and the list goes on and on. These niggas be doing the same thing. Look, look, matter of fact, look at the NBA, bro. Who did it? Um, um, Blake Griffin, Ben Simmons. Uh, Ben Simmons, low key a sniper. He got some good names on his list. Uh, Devin oh. Booker. Uh, the, all these niggas be wanting the same females, bro. Oh, oh, and and like. Was it one of future baby mom? Don't she have mad? She had a baby with Bow Wow. She had a baby with Bow Wow. She having a baby with Trevon Diggs in the NFL. Yeah, yeah. You mean like and like this is what goes on, bro. Unfortunately, like Chris Brown, nigga. Yo, nigga. Yeah, listen, man. Y'all niggas got passports, man. Go bring you a girl in from Blackberry, my niggas. I fucking these. Let's get you something else, man. But you know how niggas be niggas see what they send face. I want her, and niggas be thinking they listen. Shorty in Blackberry is fire too. Get her on a flight, man. Get it through customs, and yeah, y'all can go run the town. Not cussing. Word. No. I'm, I'm just saying, bro, oh, if you listen what it show you that know all these niggas at some point in time or another, really? it's going to lead to some bullshit. Thank you. And all these niggas go through bullshit. Yeah. Nah, but that's what happened, bro. You see, you see, like, bro. I, I don't know that because, like, again, what? I've always been, I've always been a different kind of guy. If Shorty be like, if a homie like, yo, Shorty with the train, nah, you can have, bro. I'm out of here. I'm going to go find me my own drink. And he That's nigga, me. And he nigga, look at John Morant. John Morant does not like Drake because of uh, Lotto Little Sister. Oh, he was with Lotto Little Sister, too? Yeah. Bro, this, bro I, I, I'm not trying to say it like that, but everybody be sharing the same people. Just like in Monster, everybody <laughs> They're the same people, bro. That's because they be fucking off proximity. I don't be with under that, bro. Yeah, like, bro, a nigga was you with a girl, and be like, I can have her too, and he gonna. I look know, him. I know. They try. They, let they, me, they, let me. Some, ask some, some, some of them achieve, but I bet you I ain't never talk to that broad again. If certain niggas can have no, access to you not, outside of me, uh, and we, uh, uh, we ain't doing it, baby. You gotta go. Do y'all feel like it's like that in the business world? That's not celebrity related. Nah, bro, bro. I work at the hospital. It's like that, bro. You talking about? You talking about low? You talk about low tier no, shit. No, but if it's bro, it's bro. Anywhere. I'm telling you, like, no. If we took like like Fortune 500 CEOs and shit like that, they're not doing that. Oh, they probably sticking with their no. wife. They probably, they probably having their little side chicks. Nah, they, probably, they go. They go to sex clubs. They they probably have. They they had. Their yeah, you, probably, you probably won't even know that. You won't have a chance to get that nigga number. He's gone. They, they, they probably they probably go to their diddy parties. They got shorties yeah. that they got on 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 uh on the payroll. You feel me? <laughs> Look at Lori Harvey, bro. Like, I could keep giving you an example. Lori Harvey, they did. Bro, you yeah. name it. Yeah, nah, you're right. But look. And it's like, this, everybody. Guys, that's not. So look. You are right in these things. You talk about the select. These niggas are weird. They, they call are weird. weird I, I, I don't know if it's necessarily weird. No, it's weird. Like, it's weird. It's weird. Because my nigga. I, I'm going to about. I, if I go to a party and see you with a shorty. The first thing on my mind is not, yo, I want to fuck her too. Nah, I good shit, my nigga. I'm going to do my own thing. I can pull women. No, I'm, and I just, I, I agree with you, but I see Megan the Stud in the part. I don't care if she's with Chris Brown, Drake, Lil Wayne. <laughs> I don't want Megan the Stud. Also, you, you, are super, you, are, you are super horny, best, so I get that. <laughs> um, <laughs> a bad bitch is a bad bitch. Oh, I, don't, I don't care who Megan the Stud mess with. I don't care who Ruby Rose mess with. I don't care who K. Michelle mess with. I don't care who <laughs> I got on my list. I don't care who light skin Keisha mess with. I don't care who uh Skylar Diggers mess with. There's a couple. I don't give a fuck about your past, baby. I don't you ask. Know. I don't ask any woman about their past. No, I'm just saying. Even if I see you, with an, bro, but if, I, I, if somebody's my peer, right? So some I've seen somebody we 
whatever we worked, we've been around the same places, whatever. Chris Brown and Quay were not with the damn like they're not cool. All right, whatever. Nah, it was cool. There was quite a point in time. All right, whatever. That so, was the whole point. Oh. In the interview, in the interview, um, Chris Brown, like Quavo, Quavo and Amigos, like my brother, these are real niggas in the industry. Oh, well. <laughs> niggas, oh, moving right along because I don't got any more to say. Y'all niggas got to stop trying to plot on your man girl, man. Shit is weird. Bro, your and girl, I'm, I'm not, niggas could say that, bro, but they grow like, bro, your girl got to be stop being so accessible, bro. And your girl's not accessible, niggas wouldn't do that, shit, bro. Like, look I, at that. So Ruchi, she was single. Her and Chris hasn't been together for years. I'm not taking that away from that, but look, look at Kendrick Lamar, right? Kendrick Lamar, you can't even, uh, you won't even think to approach this girl because you know how she's coming. His wife, you mean? I, I'm sorry, his wife. You feel, you feel me? You won't yeah, even like, think to approach his wife. Well, his wife is also not a celebrity either. But a lot of these, people, a lot of these girlfriends and wife are not celebrities, bro. You remember you just said it? They're not celebrities. They just got people with viral moments. You just said that yourself. Yeah. A lot of these people are not, they just vassal wise girlfriends, a lot just they just somebody attacked to somebody for the most part, bro. But and and you would never hear no rumors like that. LeBron James' wife is not accessible, but you hear about these other celebrities, uh, other NBA player girls, right? You see what's going on, right? Some, not really. That's only a few, not a lot. Gilbert Arena said Gilbert Arena said the right way. He said you will be dating a, uh, like say you come into the league with a girl, right? And um, she looked. She used to be fans of Curry. I'm I'm just throwing Curry. I'm not saying Curry's doing it. She used to be. She's a fan of Curry and LeBron. And these niggas too. She's in the same room with these niggas. You don't think she's gonna go? Like, come on, bro. Like, I know a lot of me in the room. She touched me. I'm folding. I don't care who girl I'm around. I don't care if I'm around my girl. I'm. She not in this. You was thinking best of school, man. Listen. I'm horny because I feel, I, feel, I I find her attractive. Nah, you just mad horny, bro. You you, you say you let it be in way too often and Lotto give you the chance. I don't care, bro. It's it's better than what Lil Uzi and Meek Mill got going on in Philly right now. Like these niggas is gay. <laughs> like I'd rather be horny than gay. You're not just gonna put Philly in there like that. Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. So try to say Uzi's the king of Philly. I gave him two, three weeks to be like, okay, Uzi's the king of Philly, bro. <laughs> so yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't defend Uzi Vogue getting dead dropping like that. Bro, yo, somebody said, somebody said some real shit. They I said, told you last week, Quilly the King of Philly, nigga. Like, it's Quilly, nigga. It's so, so, like, bro, bro it's like Playboy Cardi and Lil Uzi that have a competition to see who could beat him. Like, I'm not saying they're gay. No. Like, they, they just like seeing who could do they, nothing. They, 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 they are very androgynous. Yeah, like, bro, like. Oh, so you got your nails painted and you were in a purse. Like, come on, bro. Like, there's only so much you could accept. Like, let if you if you if you can't come out the closet, bro. You make great music. Your fan base is only gonna go up even more. I won't be mad at Uzi get caught. Up. No, 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 no. Because if it's overboard, the people gonna treat him like they treat your raw car, Michael. That nigga bugging the fuck out. Nigga, that's well, he, he, I, he said some gay shit, right? I forgot what he said. Yo, best. We are on a public platform. You All right. He said some. He said some, some. He said he said some freaky shit. They just call it freaky. Freaky as hell. Jabron, no, there's freaky in the no, 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 I said you can't compare yeah. the two. I, I could be a freaky nigga. That don't mean I'm gay. <laughs> like I'm let that be. You can't be just giving out every word, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. There's nothing wrong with being gay. I'm not saying nothing bad against gay people. But if you're gonna be, identify such, be proud. I'm black and I'm proud. If you're gonna be gay, well, be at proud. The end of the day, you know, so like, what's up here? It don't matter what somebody doing in their bedroom. That ain't my business. They don't have. They can be proud in it. They don't just don't want to tell everybody that they that. That's their business. Simple as that. I'm leaving it there. When well, you want to wear the purses, you want cool. I know what you want. I don't rock with that. Just make songs that I like, and we cool. Simple as that. But the king of Philly is Quilly now. Yeah, Quilly got to be. Or OT7 <laughs> Kwame, whichever Yo, one. Christine, you got to go turn up. You got to go put on for your seat. You got to go find the next rapper out there. <laughs> I swear. That shit is sad. I ain't gonna lie. Meek Mill make great music. I should start bumping Meek again. That nigga is one of the greatest. Make great music. Now that was reach. All right. No, no. Meek Mill make great music, bro. I just bumped him. Great the music. Game. Is now, I'm like, yo, that nigga Meek really fire. Just be doing too much cornball. What they say, that young nigga, boy. That nigga Meek makes empty pain raps, but I'll let y'all learn. That he nigga, rap, he rap about the same roaches and... And, um, oh, you are not going to dis. Remember about the same roaches in the same role for the last what? How long was he? He came out 20, 2011, 2012. Yeah, 20, Bill, I will not let him talk about you like that. 
I worry about it because me can't fight. I'll beat that nigga up, bro. I've seen him box. Yes, here we go. That nigga can't go. fight. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah. That. that nigga yeah. can't fight. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, first of, first of all, where, get what you said. Get up. Get up. <laughs> Nigga ain't want to play academics, man. That ain't gave you shit with me. Like you said, yo, I don't lie, bro. It's like he not even, get up. Like, shut up. You should never say that thing. You should have heard that video and played back and be like, nah, this ain't it. It was like, it's like one of the videos you ever hear yourself when you be in the club, you turn, you're like, hey, hey, you like, what the fuck is wrong with my voice? Did we? Did we? I can't do it. Oh, yeah. Um, Moving along. We're not going to get into the Meek Mill stuff today. <laughs> God bless you. No diddy. Oh Feel me? It is what it is. Uzi, you playing around with it? With it? We playing some real crazy games right now. If you part of it, if that's what you want, that's the part of the community that you want. We accept you. We understand. Wow. I've been seeing it. I accepted it. But, but what you what are you doing is when you're not clearing things up, you like we, we said with Pat Poussin and um, what's his name? What's the battle rap nigga name? Oh. Um, <laughs> But but you know what it was, bro. You know another what another Philly nigga, Pat Poos and him. Uh, they, Pat Poos not clearing up that he knocked the nigga out, right? So yeah. when you don't That's clear things, don't let people run with with stories. Uh, the nigga class mercy some real nigga shit, but he said the, the the problem we have with that is just like low ass kids look up to Uzi, bro. Like you said, oh, them- you gotta you gotta not you gotta at the end of the day, it don't matter what they look up to. You have to do your job as a parent, my nigga. They should not be look. They should not. They should not idolize celebrities, bro. They should. Nah, nah, you, but so you you grew up right before you got your mom and your dad. As much as stuff as your parents teach you, bro, it's all cool. You still gonna wanna be like a celebrity. You still gonna wanna be about the people you see outside because your parents are more like. But that's why. So shout out to my pops, my pops. No, but it, it don't matter I'm, what I'm saying. I'm saying he had me around celebrities, so I knew it was fake. Like nigga, the movie paid in full. Ace, I met the I met the real Ace. He was broke. He was fucked up outside. So I I, I didn't watch paid in full the same. Then I found out the nigga told on the nigga. So like when they, when you sit there and you watch stuff and you don't get the real, then you just run with one thing. But at the end of the day, my nigga, ain't there's no reason that a kid should be idolizing little Uzi. No, the nigga make good music. That's it. He's an artist. That's what you gotta drill in people's head. Like, yo, you could do your own thing too. Oh, yeah. I, I never, I, like, I can't be in real. Like, the only person I wanted to ever be like in my life was like Jeezy and Fifty Cent. And then I see I the quote. From, I knew you were about to say Fifty Cent for some yeah. reason. I ain't gonna lie. When I, when, I, when, I, when I when I I wanted to get shot until Jeezy. I met niggas that got shot, and I'm like, nah, I don't want to get shot. Um, I want to get shot. Nine, I met, I, I want, I wanted to be like Jeezy till I found out the nigga not really from Atlanta. Lived in make they lived, the nigga lived in making. Then I see the nigga put a quote out. So how you want his son to go to college and shit? I'm like, nigga, this Mister Nineteen, this Mister uh, Mister Nineteen Five. You feel me? Like whatever. For, oh, Seventeen Five for me. Seven, Mister Seventeen Five. Like nigga, we talk about moving coat. You want kids to go to college? Oh no, 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 no. I can't. So I, you telling me this so dope, but you took, but you putting your son in school. Cool. I need to focus on this over here. I wanted to be like Fifty Cent and Chief Keith and Soldier Boy. I really wanted to be like Soldier Boy like the most. So I find I think it's Cap. He, he only caught like one body. He need to catch some more. Oh, that big drink. Now, what? What? Now I'm playing. Now I really want to be like Soldier well, Boy. Like I said, this is, I never wanted to be like. Not for with Soldier and Soldier. Never want to be like either one of them. First yeah, of all, Chief Keith, my, you, you, nigga, you, you, nigga was my age, right? We the same. Yeah, 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 age, of course. Fifty Cent is not your age. So Chief Keith is my era, like. From niggas like me, thirteen. See, but it ain't, it ain't, it ain't for me. It ain't just the everything. It's about nigga, the fifty shit was tangible. Like, but yeah, but by the time like, Tiffany came out, you was already like eighteen. I'm 19. not talking. I'm not talking about the age, best. Fifty Cent is from my city. Jaru from my city. I seen the murder and in, in, in the G shit in real life, like real time. Like these niggas really beefing. Niggas really getting hurt behind this shit. And I'm like, and with the environment that I grew up in. I could identify with that. Like when I got past that, it was like, ah, nah, I don't want to be on that shit. But at the time, it's very impressionable. I'm like, nigga, that shit is lit. Like the rough, like I grew up in a time where it was Murder Inc., G Unit, the Rough Riders, and Terror Squad, and they were in Dipset. And I, I could see these niggas outside. I go to Harlem, I see Cameron and them niggas out, Jewel's outside. I'm, I'm, I'm up there by Fourth Project. I could see Fat Joe and Terror Squad outside. Like nigga, fucking the, the nigga that they be talking about, Pistol Pete be chilling with my cousin Flex, and that's his man. Like I see these niggas. That's, that's cool. why I was. That was that's that's the that's where the inspiration come from. Okay. I wasn't inspired by these by niggas I, I couldn't see except for Jeezy. 
I, and all, and I could say it with Chief Keith and them. I might not be interacting with Chief Keith, but I got tweets. If you look at my old Twitter, I used to. That's, di- that's, that's different. That's no, different than seeing. No, 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 no. But I'm saying I used to interact with King Von. Like, I got a thread when they robbed Sosa and stuff like that. I, I was like, they was like, they was like, we robbed. Uh, you see, that's internet. I, I used to be on. Rap- I, I, mean, I get what you're saying, but that's internet. Shit. It's different when you pull up outside and you see Joel Santana in the S class. Right. Kella outside in a Bentley, like yeah, about, that's my own. Back, that's my, that had the internet back then. We got the internet. We can see the shit live. That's not, but that, it, ain't, it ain't the same thing when you right. see the nigga call it, right, it, bro. Because you and see both and 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 that, and and that not real to me, bro. Like no, I'm interacting with niggas, like you interact with these niggas just virtually. It's not. It's not the same, bro. It's not. It's I'm, not interact, a, but, uh, I'm not saying that I had a real relationship with them, but the inspiration to see a nigga from 140th and 7th Avenue. Driving a Bentley or Ferrari right in front of my face, and I'm seven is way different than seeing it on the internet. Well, I seen she keep riding the Bentley, but it ain't, it ain't, I mean, maybe moment. for that area, I might be inspired. But when you see a nigga like yo, nigga, I know what, what, what 40 for seven fans, bro. If I could see this right in front of my eyes right now, I could make something happen because this nigga did it. That's what it like. It's not, it's not like I think so. What so Sosa was doing was fire, I fucked with it. But seeing a nigga come from walk the streets that you walk, doing that is a big difference. Like if I was from Rochester and I seen uh, 38 Special pull up in a fucking Urus, my my inspiration is different than versus watching a rapper do that shit on Instagram. It's not the same for me. I see where you're coming from, but I feel like, it, like if you, we all can see shit through the internet. Yeah, but that shit, like, you could make shit up on like internet, you could fake it. I got videos on, on the internet where I'm driving BMW i8 or like this. That wasn't my shit. I've had nice cars for myself, but I didn't have. I never had an i8. I never had a Maserati. But you could, if you on the internet, you see me driving driving them shits. Hey, my shit. Fucking um, moving moving right along. So Quavo leave Chris Brown alone. That's the end of that story. Oh, uh, nah, don't be scared, that nigga, bro. Bet's Beth, gonna get you fucked up. Stop listening, to that. <laughs> bro. Leave that nigga alone, bro. bro Beth, listen, right. don't, don't listen to Best. Best just told you he was he was doing tweets back in the day. Oh, I'm yeah. telling you, Chris oh, Brown yeah. is an outside. Chris Brown is an outside nigga. Don't listen to nigga with the Twitter fingers, bro. <laughs> no. I was, I was, I was, I'm reading from Old Black. We want you to buck, bro. I used to be tweeting them niggas and everything oh, in the awards on Twitter. Oh my god. Oh, my god. <laughs> no. Wait, I was in yeah. war, bro. No, but you can look at my rap catch well, up. Matter of fact, best real question I got for you right now, right? Because the streets is talking to me. They like, yeah, why you took that video down? What video? An old boy get his chain snatch. No, 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 the the nigga that took it down, the nigga that I had the face of it, the nigga like the somebody that's associated with him told me to um take it down with his face in it because he don't got nothing to do with it. I put it back up. That nigga called me though. Ours called me. What's up for two hours? He was like, bro, don't post me good or bad. I said, bro, you're a public figure. Like, what the fuck? Oh, he was talking greasy to him? Bro, yeah, bro. He's talking about... Bro, he, was, <laughs> that? he called here. me. Two hours. He, talking about, he said, I'm, I said, bro, you're a public figure, bro. When you was this nigga, I'm going to post it too. I don't give a fuck about that shit, bro. Like, he's like, don't post me good or bad. I said, nigga, I'm going to post you, nigga. Like, he said, I don't want you to post because it's some street shit's going to happen about it. He up the blick type shit. Like, nigga's going to get... Like, nigga, go get... Yo, 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 see? This talk, this, ain't too much now. Bro, this is what he said. Bro, he ain't never did nothing to nobody, bro. He's a rapper. I'm just, oh my god. He was a rapper, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like you remember you said you be giving niggas too much credit, bro. I know I'm in Rochester, so I know what's fake going on, bro. That nigga's a rapper, bro. You ain't had to say what he did in it. You ain't had to say that part though. That that's bro, criminal. He didn't, bro. How did I incriminate if he? Inc- I'm a blogger. I'm not in the streets. I'm gonna say again. <laughs> All right, best. I'm not saying that you what you saying is wrong. I'm just saying that one part. Niggas live in New York State. You can't just up anything in New York State, man. I'm just hey, saying. I ain't gonna lie. You know, niggas be doing that uh fake guns. You see a little mob we had the little fake guns, so it could be it, all props. This shit is not real. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did y'all see that um Glorilla got a DUI? Yes, yeah, that, that was stupid. That was stupid. Oh, you got I about a driver. Because she it, it, she might not have a driver, but you got enough money to get an Uber. You could have got an Uber. You could have had one of your friends drive you home. Anything. 
but I, I, I'm not I, I'm not surprised though because she still drinks Taylor Port. Well, like, <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> and I be having to tell a lot of my homegirls this, bro. Stop drinking and then driving. Like they be thinking, oh no, I got it, and that's probably grill is. Like a lot of my homegirls are like that, bro. They will drink and be smack, and like I, I'm like, no, don't do that shit. You could call me before you, I let you drive. No, honestly, real talk, right? Because I like I don't drink like that. I've been with women that do, and. My biggest thing is women that like for I'm not saying you, Christine, but it's a lot of women don't know how their limit. They'll keep drinking all night and get fu- it's like, yo, first of all, that's not even safe to be that drunk. One. Two, right. two, if you have the resources like Glorilla did, call somebody, have somebody take you home, call your manager. So somebody had to be with you before you left, wherever you was at. But yeah. it goes back to I, I, I got hunger. They're not on grill level. I'm not saying that, right? They're not. No, but I got a nigga, they got a nigga that they fucking. No, no, no. That's cool. I don't give a fuck about them fucking. No, I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying it. They got a nigga that they fucking that you could call that nigga to come pick you up. Yeah, but I'm, I'm they saying, saying I, they be fucking broke ass niggas with no cars too. So I don't. But that's even better. That nigga getting the driver's seat. He don't got no car. They <laughs> <laughs> getting a driver's seat to drive you. He don't got no car. Oh, see, if them niggas be drunk too though, so. No, but I'm but I said I'll be offering my service. I'll be like, bro, why are you driving drunk? And I'll take your car, I'll take you home, bro. They be like, I got it. Like they be taking risks. You can't fight nobody that don't want to listen. That's true, too. I feel I'm pretty sure Christine. No, nah, I ain't gonna say that, bro. I'm gonna let you live. I mean, you know, you know, like I'm I'm really careful about that shit. Cause you know, if it's happened to somebody that you know before, that shit like is different. See you what know? You know. My thing, my thing, don't be the, the DUI itself. It be what can happen. When that's that's what I be thinking about. I, don't like, I, I ain't even gonna hold you. I, if you drive drunk, I don't give a fuck what happens to you as a driver. It's the people that you can actually hurt. That, right. that, and that's like, what I be people, thinking, like, babies be dying. People be trying to go like getting hit, going home to their kids and shit. That's fucked up, bro. Like you, you a selfish person because you're putting everybody else's life at risk because you think you good enough to drive. No, sit your dumb ass down. Right, it's your dumb ass down. Because right. if it was that important for you to go where you was going, you wouldn't have gotten as drunk as you got. When yeah. you when you were not able to drive, right. And it don't matter if you're a celebrity or not. Like that shit is just not cool. Now, I, I be trying, bro. I swear to God, I tell my female friends this all the time, bro. Don't drive drunk. They be. You don't thinking- tell your nigga friends that though. Them niggas be driving drunk. I'm pretty sure they do. I'm not I'm touching, not, but I, I I'm. Know. Know. Huh? No, nigga, it don't matter. Same standard across the board. No, that's the fact. Nigga, but you, nigga, what they gonna do? It don't matter, bro. Nigga, I take a nigga keys, bro. If you want, on my homie, you nigga, sit the fuck down, bro. You wanna go home? I drop you off. I, bring, but I, 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 I feel like when it comes to that, I, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I feel like niggas, like you just said, these niggas be broke. They be don't have no car. You can talk about females that be having cars and they be LPS. I don't know. I don't got friends that don't have cars. I don't, more of my friends, like most of my. So, I'm stop. just saying. I, look, look. So bougie. I don't have friends that don't have cars now. Like I don't like if you don't if niggas not established at this point in life. I'm not fucking with you like that, bro. Oh my, God. my friends have cars. That's so harsh on people. I'm not like in order to get to where you want to get in life, you can't associate yourself with shit that is not. I, 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 I can't. I, I agree with that a little bit, but I'm not cutting my homie off because he don't got no. Car. I didn't cut a nigga off because he don't have a car. I cut. He didn't have a homie in the first place that didn't have a car. Hey, but, like, but, first, I cut niggas off for not handling their priorities. But now, I, I, like, mm. if you want to, if you want to chase after women all day, but you're not seeing your kids, you don't got your own place, you ain't paying no fucking bills. And you telling women how to act, and you doing like, or you telling niggas how to move, but you don't got man, get the fuck out my face, bro. Like, I probably got it. Like, my homies in New York, I feel like I fight this different. New York City, it's a little different because in New York City, you don't need a car. It's actually more of a hassle to have a car than not have a car. You feel me? I fight, I feel you had, yeah, but like everybody else, everybody got they got their own vehicle. I fight you had different friends for different stuff. I got friends that when I go to party, that's how I'm gonna go to party. Those are my friends for my party. I got friends when it comes to business, it's business. I got friends when it's like for podcasts and music stuff, those are my music friends. I know how to separate my friends. Nah, see, I don't Everybody can coexist. I know that person. I don't know. I don't do that. My my friends, friends that I go that I, you catch me in the party moving with, like these are my real friends like that. They my friends that I do business with. They my friends that I uh Excuse me, I'll go to the party with. Like, I don't do that because my friends that I would do business with and things like that, that I view as family, 
they care if I go home. If I just go home, go to a party with nigga that like the party, he came a party. I ain't fuck with you, nigga. Mm -mm. I keep. I have associates, then I have friends. There's two different things. Jesus. Associates, nigga. I see him in the spot. We ain't go there together, but if we see each other in the spot, I right, cool. We link up. Boom, boom, boom. But the niggas I came with, those are my friends. Right. Uh, I can't agree with that because I got friends with different, like all my I, friends. Yeah. That, that, but every you see, friend people use that word to loosely. Everybody ain't a friend. That's associates, acquaintances. No, no, no. I, I, and I get that. I'm not saying everybody my friend, but there's certain friends like bro. What we don't have the same interests, so there's no point of doing business together. There's certain friends that I got that don't go to no parties. They don't even like going to parties. I, you'll probably never catch them in a party. Those through my friends. We just we are friends. I don't give a fuck if I like what you're doing or not. If you my like, like my friends like my family. If I believe in what you're doing, I don't gotta have no interest in it at all. Nigga, I'll be a silent partner. How much you need? How much do I gotta put it on this? Now I, I, I want to be passionate about it as much as I'm passionate about no, it. No, because it's not about it's not it's not for me. I'm just a silent partner. I'll put some money up. I don't gotta hmm. just tell me how this is going. Explain this to me, but I don't. That passion shit, fuck that. I want the, the best nigga for the job. I could be in the way of stopping progress because you want me involved. No. Just un break down to me what I need to know. I could see things. I could do what I know. You do what you know. And that's how we, we flourish. Mm, so, I, I don't know, but I see where you're coming from, bro. But like, there's friends. For, I feel like still feel like there's friends for different things, bro. And then it's there. people for different shit, but I don't call them friends. They are own friends. Yeah, they be my friends. I just know I just you got it. it's like it's like this. So how can I so, how can I say this is my teammate, right? I grew up home playing basketball all my life. This is my friend. And I go play soccer. Now this part because this is what I used to do, right? When I was in school, I had set, I had friends that were on my soccer team. Those are my friends on my soccer team. And I'm gonna coexist this with my friends on the basketball team because soccer players don't really transition over basketball all the time. They usually go track the field, like just like basketball, those don't always close to soccer, they usually go to the football team. I have different friends that hang out. Like, I don't know. I got my white friend, my suburban friends. I still, I'm still cool with from Rush. And I got my city friends. I mean, know how to sort them out. I got my podcast friends. I got my friends that are interested in the music. I got my friends like the party. And see, I got my hospital friends. I don't see you got too many friends. I know all, I might know all these niggas, but like, now, this, but I, but this, I many, I, this many niggas is my, like, this many niggas is my friend, but I know this many niggas. Now, all I'm not saying that I don't fuck with them or whatever the case may be, but when I call like my friends, like my kids and their kids call we call it uncle. You feel me? Uh, or auntie. If my kids ain't my, my kids, I don't got kids. You feel me, kid? My kid ain't calling you that, nigga. So, like, we not really that. We not friends like that. We cool. We have a, a good relationship, but we not friends. That's like it's real different. But uh, you know, my friend asked me to make your friends, and people be fuck with me, and I be fuck with them. So, yeah, because you a mixy nigga, best. And who gonna do what? Nobody. What's the good? What's your man Jeffrey? Man, I think he's telling people he outside clutching and all this shit. What happened again? What he did now? I don't know. I ain't seen nothing he did this week. I ain't gonna lie. All right, all right. just making sure you know. Gotta. Oh, sun, sun crashing out out here, man. Yo, Rick Ross got to be the funniest nigga in the world. I don't know this happened after the episode last time or before. But the whole, burr, burr, man, he said, what happened to that boy? That nigga Rick Ross is top. Hey, bro, he's like a Richard Quilly at this point right now. I ain't going to lie, Drake be flaming his ass back. That should be funny. That nigga Drake told that nigga he got the smallest house on Star Island. <laughs> get, get your money, yo. Niggas is wild, man. These niggas is crazy. Uh, Talking about Drake, did y'all hear the Drake AI it ain't AI, it's a Drick this. Well, he did use some AI on there. No, I mean, it, I'm saying he used their voice, but he wrote the shit. Like, he, he, like, made, he recorded it too. Yeah, West Coast Survivor. He talk about <laughs> he talk about the West Coast needs you. Talk about him like little girls or something. <laughs> I had to go drink the goat for that. I go, oh, Drew, that shit was fire. I, I can't. Do like, you feel like Kendrick needs to respond? Yes, he needs to, bro. You how you gonna throw how you gonna like how you gonna like throw some that how you gonna throw a rock and then hide your hand? Now like, you playing victim? No, he respond. This is rap. You a rapper, bro. It's not like Drake, bro. Nobody was bothering you. They put you in the top three with them. You should let it at that. You the one that won a competition. You don't want to call for the smoke. It's like it's like soups like this, right? And like think about it like basketball. Let's use basketball example, right? A nigga talk about he better than you in basketball all the time. He 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 comes to a park and then and then like you know how you just take a quick shot, he hits the three over your face. 
Now he's like, no, I don't want to hoop. I don't just joke. Come, no, nigga, lace your shoes up. Let's go. Let's go. How you gonna call nigga out? Shoot the basketball and then be like, nah, I don't want to hoop. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Nah, you shot the shot in nigga face. Let the nigga get get. The nigga get some get back. It's time to go to war. Not go to war, but it's it's let's go. So because it's like the ball is in Kendrick's court, he's able to do what he wants to do at this point. I think as for hip hop. And stuff he should respond, but as these but, things are start, starting to unfold with PG Lane and this gamma information and quote unquote drip buying niggas masters, I think but, there's a bigger play at hand that's outside of the realm of rap that we're looking at. As fans of hip hop, we want to see a, a traditional rap battle, but this shit is more than that. It's more than that. It's a lot of shit going on in here. Now, and I and I agree with that, and I agree. But like, at least for what we can see, the viewership, you got to respond, bro. Because we can't. We a lot of shit is going go on. A lot of shit is going go on behind the scene. We will never see. No, that's not true. Ah, right, we so, might see eventually, but it's not gonna matter. Like, but my, I'm just saying this, right? If Kendrick is not gonna respond anytime within like the next month or two or so. Don't come back a year later and try to respond. Because now it's like, bro, we're not doing this again, bro. We're not waiting for you to drop a song, show your hand, and then when Drake responds two weeks, three weeks later, you go hide again for another three, four years, bro. That's just annoying. We don't, at a certain point, we're not even going to give a fuck no more. Nah, we're going to care still. I mean, but not, it's, not, it's like, bro, it's like, come on. Listen, man, Pacquiao Mayweather took 10 years to fight. But when they forward... But, but, but no, no. Well, who was hiding the hand? They were both wasn't hiding the hand. They both was wanted it. It just had edges in it. No, they, they they couldn't agree to terms. Yeah, no. Floyd it's went like, to Floyd went to jail. Pacquiao wanted some terms that Floyd didn't want, and then it was on two different promotions. Yeah, I, I, well, I, I, it's, I, a lot, it's a lot yeah, of political they shit. Both, listen, they were both interested in doing it though. It's like Kendrick is doing it, and then it's like this. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be on your podcast on Sunday, right? You're not here. Then three weeks later, Sus, why you ain't put me on the podcast? Like, nigga, you wasn't there the last three times I told you to pull up. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm at this point, bro. I'm just saying, bro, you're not gonna respond with the next. I'm giving you two months. I'm not gonna give a fuck about it no more, but and we're gonna get Drake to win. I ain't gonna lie, Drake is winning his, right, right now, especially that that uh uh with the AI and shit. I think Drake won. That nigga Drake is gonna troll him until he comes outside. Yeah, thought I had that New York City apartment. Talk about nigga like the little girl. So, do you hear what Tupac said? The AI Tupac. Yo, it can you believe people really thought Tupac came back from the dead and recorded that? People were stupid. Like, are you dead ass, bro? Like, what do you, who do you think Tupac is? Yo, and the only thing that probably could come back from the dead is people around. That's people. the only thing I probably that thing would amaze me if you came back from the dead and recorded a song. Sorry, man. You people from the best generation, internet people. You are stupid. What? Tupac is dead. Christine, Tupac, is, generation is, dead. Two. Tupac is deader than dead. Like Christine is my age too. Don't say. I'm about to be 27. Girl, I'm about to be 25. Yeah, you my generation. We've been in high school together. Barely. All head. Uh, but not nah, no, we would have been in high school because I'm a young, I'm younger than the average person my grade. Like I have a late birthday, so I would have still been in high school with her. Everybody else in my grade. Been right school, she would have been in high school with me too. So, yeah, she's she's on the hinge. You feel me? Yeah. Exactly. Wait, what year you was born in, Christine? Born ninety seven. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I thought she was a ninety eight baby. Nah, ninety seven. And like I said, man, I would have Christine do all. I would have Christine do all my homework in school. <laughs> I would make her jokes in classroom while she do all my schoolwork. <laughs> doing all your homework is crazy. That's how the game go, bro. <laughs> That's how the game go. I did my own homework in school. I wasn't having nobody do that shit for me. <laughs> I was an ISS. I needed somebody to do my shit for me. Oh my god! I was ISS my whole time in middle school. You still graduated well honest. I graduated too, but I graduated cheating. Nah, I graduated. Damn. And, and I'm a proud teacher. I graduated, I graduated in middle school. I graduated with in a national honor society in high school, and I was doing whatever the fuck I wanted to do. So I don't know. Some people graduate. Some people graduate working harder. Some people work, graduate working smarter. 
And this really clearly, clearly you ain't cheat off the right nigga because they ain't helping you that nigga. You got you got cheat from the right nigga, man. I did cheat from the right nigga. My, the nigga I cheated is about to be a doctor. Oh shit. About to be a doctor. So God, bro, he knew it too. They used to inbox me the answers right after you turned it in. I gave the class the jokes and they gave me the answers. I could dance the fairest things. I, I kept the classroom entertaining. That's my that's why my white boy from Rush we locked in for life. Oh ah. oh, they're they gonna be having the boats and shit like that. And y'all see me with them white boys uh politicking with um the rich white folks and shit like that. Don't say I didn't tell y'all. <laughs> hey best. Oh, what's the man? Just leave your location on, man, because you know what a black person on the boat with white people don't always go the best. Oh, nah, nah, they ain't that type of they ain't that type of white. Screaming. Yo, hey, what's up with Kanye, bro? Why he trying to get in on this war? Kanye need to sit his ass down. <laughs> nah, he needs to sit his ass down. Yeah, he sit down. It's that Gemini shit. I fuck the Geminis, but you gotta chill, bro. But it's like Metro Boomer's really recruiting niggas to come hate Don Drake with him. That's like, like that's crazy. <coughs> Metro, shut your whole ass up and play some drums. <laughs> then the nigga ran out. Then he ran out niggas to play drums in his hometown. I, I forgot what nah, arena. He had, was. he had him in front of Magic City playing Magic drums. Wow. Drake is the pettiest nigga. Like you think Rose is funny? Drake is at, like what is funny? I agree with you. Drake is hilarious. <laughs> And the nigga had like, bro. I told niggas, they oh, it took Drake three weeks. He was on tour. As soon as he got off tour, that nigga got time now. He not he, now. He about to be at all, y'all. He about to clown y'all. Like this. Fifty Cent been trolling. I've been paying attention more to Drake Ross and Drake trolling than Fifty Cent at this point. Like they more, they been going crazy. Leave that nigga, leave that light skin boy alone, man. Oh, before we forget, Chef G is home. Oh yeah, my boy Chef. New York hip hop, five million ten dollar bomb. We about to, what we gonna do? We gonna get a cash go base Chef G feature. You know what I'm That'd be fire. I ain't gonna lie. That nigga been gone for two, but he's still fighting the um the uh yeah uh, Rico charge. So hopefully he's able to undercover. Him and Sleepy Hollow are both fighting it type shit. So. Hopefully he's able to travel a little bit to make some money because I think that's part of the reason why he wanted to build because in order to be fight this case, you gotta have some money. You gotta have some money. Hell yeah. He ain't been able to make no money really, really for real for real, the last two years because he's been locked up for mm -hmm. okay, Chef. Welcome home. Sleepy Hollow held him down. Now it's time for Sir G. Turn up. And I hope you don't come home ass because a lot of the Brooklyn rappers been coming home ass as fuck compared to when they went in. Chef G been putting on music while he was locked up, bro. Nah, that's old music he had before he went to jail. Look at Bobby and Roddy. Them niggas don't not, are not as far as they used to be, bro. But you talk about it 10, 10 years, bro. I D thing is not as far as she once was. D thing was never that nice to begin with. I D thing was nice. All the looks just pop it to him. See, look, best be best. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Best, you about to be 25. Stop wanting to be a young nigga so bad, bro. You're I am young a young nigga. nigga. Not bro, you barely. Bro, D thing my age. You bro, just like you listen to Chief if, you go, if, you, if you go talk to a 19 year old, she gonna call you an old nigga. You talk to a 20, she might like, you 25. That's kind of old. Like <laughs> oh, you're not gonna make me feel old. If Drake, ain't, if Drake ain't old, I ain't old. Fuck the box. Drake is rich. <laughs> I'm rich. <laughs> I'm really I just ain't received my payment. You ain't, you ain't a billionaire, nigga. That nigga Drake a billionaire, bro. I, I just ain't received my payment yet. Who? S O D M G? Yeah. Yo, soldier, bro. I got cash that check. Send it through. They play with me, bro. Tell my son soldier gonna send that check. No, that nigga soldier was out here selling fake Ataris. <laughs> that nigga, yeah, you gotta chill, man. Yo, listen. Anything else we need to get into? I, I don't yeah. even know what happened to him. Oh, Chris, Chris King died. I don't know y'all know who he is. Uh, he's signed to Chippy Red, or he was affiliated with Chippy Red. He passed away. And we shot condolences to uh, Ch uh Chris King. Mm. We gonna check what else what happened. Uh, um, also, Taylor Swift. I think she's selling it. Um, 1.5 million in a day. 1.5 million uh, in the first week sales. Maybe two million. Nah, a day. In a day? What was it? In a week. He said a day. No. Taylor Swift sells 1.4 million copies of the Torture or Department on first day of release in the U.S. First yeah. day. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I think it's struggling to hit 132,000. She, she's a goat. She really is, though. 
Yeah, two. So she's on pace to do two million in the first week. Did two hundred million streams in a single day? History made. Oh, before we log off of this, y'all, shout out to Daisha Fair. Oh yeah, she got drafted to the Las Vegas Aces. Guess who's gonna be at the game? You heard? Los Vegas. Be there. Um, I'm gonna try to get best to come on here to go to a WNBA game because he don't be, he be missing out. Facts. What else we got, best? Um. T day twenty two. I don't know. Y'all pay attention to that. I'm not gonna... Oh, oh, um, Gail King. We was not rooting for Caitlin Clark. We was rooting for Dawn Staley. Please do not lie on black people like that ever again in your life. <laughs> Why are you sounding like that? I'm just saying, cause cause Stephen Jackson tried to say it, but like Stephen Jackson, he's trying to he be getting on the internet and it be facts sometimes. Sometimes he say facts, but he just corny. So I. Like, and you got niggas not gonna respect you, Stephen Jackson. You 50 years old, and he was going to old block. Oh you to old block, like niggas not niggas don't respect a nigga pushing 50 going to old block to tap in with the young niggas because you want to be in the hood, like you wasn't in there trying to do nothing productive. And that little nigga he tapped him with in jail for a body. Go hook put it on that nigga books since he was tired tapping with them, and he was that shit to your advantage. That's, that's, that nigga all, I'm for saying, a body. that's all I'm saying, bro. Y'all niggas is old and weird, bro. Oh, young boy got locked up. Young boy got picked up on the. Young record. boy got picked up by the feds. Damn. Damn. They, they oh, the description through the phone. I don't know why he's doing that. If you got all that bread, I mean, he was what? He was acting like a doctor, putting like fake prescriptions, getting out fake prescriptions or something like that. That nigga faced like sixty-three charges. What the hell? That nigga, that nigga, he trying to make some money. Nigga stuck in the crib. That <laughs> money ain't I'm it. He better start doing. He better drop his prices for features a little bit. You see, yo, what nigga, yo, you better start doing what the girls doing. So features on OnlyFans, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like, for no question, bro. Young boy, so slow, bro. He could leave make money off of just selling. Like, uh, oh, a fan wants to Facetime me. He, you got your fan base is so fucking strong. Them niggas gonna pay whatever the Facetime might be. Pull a sauce walk and get your girls on OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah. Make some content with them. Um, Finesse two times said that uh he used to be in the other room while his girls getting banged for some money. Uh, oh yeah, good. Finesse two times is a fucking weirdo. He said are, what? He was so broke and fucked up and, and dusty. He was she pimping out his baby mama and watching niggas fuck her in the room for two hundred dollars. And I think you lying. Niggas ain't paying two hundred dollars for that pussy. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> She also, was taking she was taking sixty dollars, forty dollars. Also, Jordan uh Jante Porter and Hold on, hold on before, before we go there, right? Ain't no shorty. Listen, man, and, and you probably should pay 20 if you don't want to get caught. Because in Rochester is a girl that said if you if you linked up with me, you might want to go get checked. One of the escorts in Rochester recently had, got HIV. So y'all niggas need to go get checked out out there. Um I'll be knowing some shit now. I'll say this, right? Mm-hmm. Ain't no way you fucking with a broke nigga and gonna ask me for two hundred dollars to fuck you. You out your rabbit ass mind. Yeah. <laughs> right though, <laughs> for real. So you want to ask me for money with that broke ass nigga right there? Right. No, that nigga should pay you to come see me. That's tough. Um, young Ace was arrested for eight guns visiting Jackson, Florida. He's a convicted. He was, felon. In, he, was at, he was in Jacksonville Beach. He wasn't. In, he wasn't in, in, in the city of Jacksonville. Uh, J- um, he got. But, he got caught with eight poles. So, I he mean, he he needs him. Oh uh, yeah. Like in Jacksonville, people want to kill him. That's this is fact. reality. He needs him. He got. He, he got caught. He got. So what I was told from one of my people in Jacksonville was. Where he got pulled over at, there's no traffic there. So he blew with a stop sign and they pulled him over for that. And then that's what he found. Oh, yeah. he was trying to... yeah, a little bit smarter, my man. Like, especially when you know you ride. But no, no, it, it really, it's really no, it's no traffic. Cause we're that area in Jacksonville Beach. Yeah. There's, tra- there's really no traffic there. Now, and, and and that's cool, but you got to know, bro. You got to know, bro. Like, if you ride in with this stuff, I'm like, five more minutes. Okay, I got to use this. Thing. All right. If you write in legal, you just gotta be more conscious because you never know who watching. You gotta have somebody following you, especially you, younger Ace. Right. Don't, even, don't even get in on the chance to get the one up. Especially young Ace. 
Especially when you run like that. All it was was them people out there seeing a, a, a black kid in a nice ass car blowing because he is white, they wanted to do. That's the reality of the situation. Oh, yeah. Um we saying John St. Porter, his He's dumb ass got a lifetime ban from the NBA because you wanted to bet and got twenty thousand dollars and you risk your two million dollar contract. Man, contract. Like you could have waited, but you probably wasn't gonna be late two, two, three more seasons, bro. You could have waited. That was, that's some dumb ass shit. That nigga hit it, but I knew it because they caught him on Gill Arena. The nigga was it was the under him for under three and a half points. That nigga hit a three one time. It was a two and a half some shit like that. He hit a three and he was mad that he made the three when he shot that shit. He was an idiot. Dante. And then their other brother, because my, my Jonte Murray Porter is but Michael Porter's that, brother. The other brother got caught. That, the other brother, the younger brother, got caught with a DUI. So his brother got banned from the, from the NBA, and his other brothers got caught with a DUI. Oh, oh. that's crazy! But shot to Kaylin Clark. She has received a six figure deal with Nike. Hey, we, knew gonna, we knew that was gonna happen. So just just to go there real quick, right? Because everybody like. Oh, the WNBA contracts are so bad. And other... Listen, I want them ladies to get paid. The but WNBA, not, not just watch them. They only play 40 games. Their season is 40 games compared to the NBA where they play 82 games. And two. On, top, on top of the play-in, on top of the end-season tournament where those games don't count. On top of and, playoffs. So uh, you're talking again, about... A team that even if a team that has a decent run, they're looking at anywhere between 110 games to maybe 120 games a season. That's a lot of games. And it goes back to Shannon Sharp and um Onto Chico said it, bro. Women do not support women, bro. All you females saying they deserve mm -hmm. to get paid more. Y'all need to go to the game. The same way y'all be we, going to the car. We, we, know, we, know that, we know that they don't support women because they be lying uh, to each other. No, I'm saying the same way y'all go to Cardi B concerts. That could show that same support to women's NBA game, bro. The same way you feel like it's an essential and then, oh, like, oh, I'm at the NBA game and take a picture, go take the NBA game and do that. Make it cool, go to the women's NBA game. That's the only way they're going to get paid more. Y'all can't go play for equal rights. You're not supporting them. Saying, hey, Sue, right now, uh, you a girl don't know nothing about NBA basketball, right? She's going to go take her pictures, um, sitting in course. I see, why could you go do that at women's NBA game? Do that. I'll be doing, listen, I, I, you know how many days I've been on to WNBA games, man? You went to WNBA again? Huh? Hell yeah. But that could you in Vegas, too. Like, you don't got no NBA when games. I, when, I, when, I, when I lived in New York City, I used to go watch the Liberty play. Uh, I never went to an NBA game until last year. That was the first time I went to an NBA game. I went, I've been to more WNBA games than I've been to NBA games. So, I was watching Teresa Witherspoon and Becky Hammond back in the day play for the Liberty. Tina Thompson and them play for the comment. So I've been watching the WNBA for a long time. What I'll say is, especially, we know women don't support women because they be lying to each other. They be how many them. times? No, no, not hating. They be lying. How many times do you see a girl call a girl pretty that's not pretty? <laughs> so, but soon they fall out. Soon they fall out. <laughs> oh, you ugly. Then they take pictures of her drawers and put it on, on Facebook and shit. Y'all be lying to each other. Y'all really don't be liking each other. So I can't expect y'all to support each other because y'all are liars. When it comes to this woman unity shit. What was that shit they be saying, Christine? Y'all don't make girls girls? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> girls, girls. I'm a girls girl, though. All right. We see when you fall out with somebody and, go, and blast them in the end of yours, girls, girls or not. Listen, man. This is all I will say to y'all. Stop posting people with dirty underwear on so, on social media. It's very stop, weird behavior. Stop stop exposing people that she was fucking. That too. Oh, your boy Five Year Flower was fighting his. Let me pull this up. Your boy Five also, also, for some of y'all that like to kick your baby dad's back in online, or for some of y'all that was fucking with a nigga and then got pregnant by another nigga while you was fucking with this nigga, and then the nigga that you got pregnant by wasn't a good nigga to you and not good to your kids. Don't try to double back. You made your choice. Thanks. God bless you. You can see my screen? Pulling up right now. Who's he fighting? Ether. You remember the nigga that he fell out with? His home homeboy? I don't see the fight. I don't really see shit. 
Okay. Okay, Bobby. <laughs> So Fabio is not a little guy. Tell me, put pedal in that nigga mouth, nigga. You know I did that, nigga. You know how you know. See my face, see my chain. Chains on deck, nigga. Put pedal in that nigga mouth. Tell me, put. So, so, Fabio, just know a lawsuit is coming, my nigga. No, that's his man, the his homeboy. Don't matter. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to keep the street a little bit. No. I got punched by a millionaire. Nigga, my jaw broke. Fuck you talking about? But that's his man's man. They probably gonna... I don't give a fuck who you are. You punch me in my face and put it on the internet. They but you know, what I'm talking, you, know, Suze, you know what I'm talking about? Eat the connect. Yeah, pay me. Oh, that's his page right now? It's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's his boy, homeboy. Best that shit don't matter. Clearly not homeless if you just push them in the shit. I mean, they, they, they're in the same click. They probably gonna have to go. That you know, don't they, mean shit, not, nigga. What are you? This is rich, nigga, bro. If Jay Z, my man's, and he punched me in my shit, guess what I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you talking about? Yeah, nigga, we cool, but I need to get paid, nigga. You put, he put it on the internet. If I'm gonna go on as a bitch ass nigga, I'm gonna go all the way out as a bitch ass nigga. Yo, you're funny as hell, Swoops. You need to do comedy on the side. I'm just saying, Christine, if a millionaire punches you in the face, what are you doing? I'm going the same round. Fuck you. What are you talking about, nigga? Like, talk, talk to me in court. I stay talking yeah. about on some street shit. Nigga, street niggas ain't dumb, nigga. You didn't watch the, the camera on the drink chance when he said his man was calling Lawrence Fishburne Larry. He was trying to get a nigga slap him or punch him so he could sue the nigga for some money. Come on now, bro. That, that's the easiest come up ever. Thanks. <laughs> that is a fact, though. Do you think that's why, like, um, strangers and shit be trying to get, like, celebrities mad and out character in person? Absolutely. Uh, eat the respondent, huh? What do you say? Baby motherfuckers. I know y'all niggas is like, what the fuck is going on? I just wanted to let y'all see me real quick so y'all can know. Do I look like I fought? Do I look like I fought three niggas last night? Two niggas, one nigga. Ether, Do I look you like I fought more three niggas last night? And and let's 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 be clear. I can't, I don't even, my my legs. I well I'm like three hundred pounds, but I don't I, I don't you I don't waste energy running. <laughs> it's not even happen. Yo, Ether, Ether, you just took away your loss with you stupid ass nigga. Niggas love clout and not trying to look pussy so much. Nigga, you could I can look as pussy as you want to think I'm pussy. I got some money now, nigga. I'm about to shoot shit out your ass. You shouldn't put your hands on me. Oh my god. <laughs> what he said? Read it. I can't see it, but you're gonna have to read it to me. It's, it's that you got big bozo nigga won't go live about the the damn Fabio can't say can't spell. Bet you that big bozo nigga won't go nigga, live about. How I punched him in the face outside the Barkley. Then he says, "That's why." Oh, hey, tell it on himself, nigga. He said, "That's why I don't care to respond to none of these tough guys." Bro <laughs> said, "Wait, that's my brother, nigga. We ain't brothers. The fuck? I will post the video, boy, running by Dunkin' Donuts internet movies. New music coming soon, nigga. What? <laughs> he just the nigga just confessed to hit assault in me. I <laughs> yo." I'd be two, three hundred thousand right now, nigga. I'll hey, sell out of court for one fifty. Word, like that ass, nigga tripping. Nigga said we gonna keep it on some street shit. Excuse me, nigga. Fuck out. You, you can suck my dick and see me in court, nigga. Fuck out of here. <laughs> and you admitted to the shit. Truth, it goes back. It goes back to niggas care more about their image than anything. Niggas do not want sound you, pussy. Yo, I guarantee you, my nigga, in the hood, if a nigga could get one fifty and he looked a little pussy, he's taking the one fifty, nigga. Like, I don't, best you think you really be like? I, I, I know you know these super niggas, like these super niggas that be around and be capping on the internet. I know real street niggas. They will take the one fifty and look pussy. They don't care because nigga, you're not gonna do that to me. That nigga yeah. did it and I got paid out. You do that shit, I'm gonna shoot the fuck out you. 
Yeah, but you know, what you, you got to think about Ether as a rapper. That might fuck up his image. Regardless, I don't yeah. give a fuck, nigga. No, nah, that's I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That's how he. That's how they think Yo, about it. DJ Vlad, to Rick Rose. Vlad, Vlad's a regular, like he's not no street nigga. No, nigga, it don't matter. Nah, nigga, listen, bro, that shit don't matter, bro. Six nine got the shit beat out of him in fucking Planet Fitness. That nigga still mean, selling. He's still selling out shows. Niggas don't give a fuck, bro. Yeah, but but that's different. If Young Boy used to get beat the fuck up or something like that, he ain't react. Bro, or Young shit, Boy, he... Young Boy pop mad perks. That nigga can't fight. That nigga don't even see people. No, no, <laughs> I'm saying that's what I'm saying. Like, like, bro, like, like, we got, we, let's be, can we be real at some point in time? <laughs> no, but that's what I'm saying. So, he, if young boy didn't shoot his gun, niggas look at him like, yo, damn, you pussy. You that's how, that's the image they built up for themselves. My nigga, this shit is entertainment, bro. Yeah, and, and but you got them as people that really believe this is going on. Bro, and them niggas ain't the niggas spending money, so I don't give a fuck what them niggas think. The niggas that young boy that will go to an NBA young boy show don't give a fuck if he got beat up or not. They don't. They don't give a fuck. The niggas that be holding these niggas to super nigga status, but they this, this super untouchable tough guy, be niggas that ain't buying that shit anyway. They not buying those. They not buying a t-shirt. They not buying an album. They not buying a concert ticket. Fuck y'all. I don't care about y'all. Listen. Any of you rap niggas that got money slap me, I'm acting mad pussy. Super pussy. I don't care. I'm telling you. But you regular niggas that don't got rapper money, <laughs> money try that. I'm beating the shit out you. But you right, you niggas that got a little bit of bread, oh, I'm pussy. I'm pussy today. <laughs> Strategic. Strategic. Uh -huh. That niggas is crazy, bro. Like, fuck, I'm going to be, I'm going to go out there and be super tough nigga and shoot at a rich nigga. That nigga put money on my head. No, I'm about to sit there and play the system against that nigga. Now, if you touch me for real, you're going to jail on top of paying that 150, nigga. Mess around if you want to. Matter of fact, make it make it 200 because I got emotional damages for you posting a video of me being pussy on the internet. Nigga. That nigga's crazy, man. Take that shit up. Y'all niggas be crazy. I don't listen. Any nigga that's super nigga, I don't, them niggas usually broke. Them super tough niggas broke. Yeah. Anything else you want to get into before we get up out of here, man? Mm -hmm. Ether to connect you a fucking moron. You want to niggas ain't touch me? I look like a four three niggas. You just look stupid. Shut up. Talking to your screen, trying to convince niggas you ain't get beat up. Instead of just play, you take the sucker, bro. Sometimes it pays to be a sucker. He can't do that because all that touch he was talking a lot. How he be whooping on five year old, five year old pussy. Uh, listen, that's fine. That's fine. He could fuck five year up for real after the fact. I said him on 150, though. 200. Actually, quarter million. Quarter million. Emotional damages, man. <laughs> Emotional damages and my jaw broke. I don't went to the, dent to the dentist to get my shit wired on purpose. Nigga, yo, listen, that shit, my shit fucked up, nigga. Mm hmm. <laughs> y'all niggas, niggas y'all niggas crazy man niggas getting beat up for free y'all niggas is crazy man niggas, also uh Devin Haney got the shit beat out of him by um <coughs> Ryan Garcia Ryan Garcia whooped his ass but he didn't get the belt because he came in three pounds overweight at the weigh-in the night before the fight it took about they want to do a rematch I don't know if Devin Haney want that problem Probably not. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to get into before we get up out of here? Because I, I think I got everything I want to get out. Pause. No, I think I got everything I want to get out. Mm. What about you, Miss? That's it. All right. So this is the Cars vs. Best Food Show, and I'm here with my two co-hosts. The Big Little Energy, Big Milf, Big Vegas Bound, Christine. Yeah! So, Christine, and the slowly maturing, need more hoes, infamous, best. AKA everybody's favorite friend. Also, the smoothest, coolest podcast in the world for its swoops. And we are out of here. And if you don't like our show, you can go suck your mom. And then I'm telling you, rappers, right now, if you put your hands on me, I'm suing. <laughs>